Good morning, beloved. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. Today we celebrate the Lord's table or Holy Communion. To those who will meet us in the church parking lot at 10 a.m., I say to you, thank you. Although we are not observing it in the sanctuary, let us be mindful that 1 Corinthians 6, 19 tell us that we are the sanctuary, we're the temple of the Holy Ghost, that we have a treasure in these earthly vessels. Today's message is a very short message and it's a simple message. It's a message of encouragement. In some circles, we call it a homily. It's found in Romans chapter number eight, verse number one, and it reads, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. The story tells of a little boy who was about seven years old. He decided one morning that he was going to do something special for his mother and his father. He decided that he was going to make them pancakes for breakfast. So he went to the kitchen and such as not to make much noise, he crept past his mother and father's uh, bedroom and he was determined not to wake them up. As he arrived at the kitchen, he went over to the cupboard to grab some flour and as he was carrying the flour to the uh, counter, he spilled the flour all over the floor. Frustrated, but nonetheless, he was going to press on. So he kneeled down and he scooped up the flour with his little hands and he placed the flour inside of a bowl. He stood up and he went over to the refrigerator to get some milk and poured about a cup of milk into the flour bowl. Before he could start stirring the milk and flour concoction, a little kitten jumped up on the countertop and started making a mess of everything. Flour was all over the place. He tried to shoot the kitten and he got even more flour all over the floor and the countertops. He had flour all over him. It was in his hair, on his face, just all over him. He just didn't know what to do. He just became even more frustrated. Then he looked at the oven because the boy couldn't cook, but he was determined he was gonna do something. And he was trying to negotiate if he was gonna put the pancakes on top of the stove or in the oven. He couldn't even work the thing, but he was determined that he was going to make pancakes for his parents. He became overwhelmed and frustrated and discouraged because everything he had tried failed. Everywhere he had turned, it looked like something else had gone wrong. And then he looked up and discovered that his father was standing there in the doorway. He just knew that his father was going to scold him or spank him because of the mess that he had made in the kitchen. But instead, his father uh, didn't choose to scold or spank him or say anything ugly to him. His father just looked at him and walked over towards him, picked him up and wrapped his arms around him until the flower that was on the little boy was now on the father. This boy is just like Paul in Romans chapter 7 when he said, when I would do good, evil is always present. I really am trying to do right, and I, I'm just trying to do what is good, but evil always seems to get in the way. Some of you know about this type of situation, when you tried the best you could, you tried to do what you thought would be the right thing, but somehow evil lures its ugly head. You thought that there would be punishment for your sin, punishment for your failure, but instead God chose to come by your side. God chose to pick you up and to get some of the mess that was on you on him. And he lets you know that there is therefore now no condemnation. Beloved, he loves you and he participates in fixing your problems. He's there with you in your pain to tell you that there is no condemnation. So don't give up. Don't give up today, tomorrow, or the next day. Just keep on making pancakes. If you make a mess of your situation in the process, it's all right. If you drop something along the way, it's okay. If the cat gets some uh, uh, batter, get batter all over the place, just keep on making pancakes because God understands what you're trying to do. 
The hymn writer once wrote it this way, if when you give the best of your service, telling the world that a savior has come, uh, if they do not believe you, he'll understand and say, well done. How many of you today want to hear him say, well done? God delights in getting into the mess of our lives and fixing them up. The old uh, mother in the church said that he picked me up and he turned me around and he placed my feet on solid ground. I hope today that you're encouraged by this word and that you know that God is with you no matter where you are or what mess you find yourself in. Let's pray. Most gracious God, we are so thankful today that as we celebrate your uh, body and your blood, your sacrifice for our lives, that you have not left us or forsaken us, but you are there with us. That you didn't just get thrown into our situation, but you chose to leave your father's side and walk alongside us to get into the mess of this world and rectify men unto your father. So God, we thank you for the work of Jesus and we thank you for your love towards us. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we want you to remember to keep on loving God, loving people, and living life. God bless you and have a wonderful week.